I'm here at Goodwill in Minnetonka, Minnesota. Let's see what we can find. Here we go. Is this an apple? Oh no, I thought I, I thought I found the green apple I'm on the hunt for. I did not. It's a ball. That would have been cute, but it's kind of broken now. Kind of broken. I'm knocking things down. There we go. That's cute. A little DIY project. I think this is different game boards. That's cool. I like that. This is pretty. Oh, Thirty dollars. What is happening? Okay, Minnetonka Goodwill. I don't know what's happening, but these prices are bonkers. It's kind of pretty. Minnetonka is kind of an affluent area, so maybe that's why. I feel like their prices had gotten better, but that is not what I'm seeing here. I mean, some of the baskets are $4.99, so it's pretty good, but rather than be $3.99, not $6.99, and definitely not $24.99 for a used basket. What? What is happening? It's kind of cute. It's a DIY thing. It's cute. Not for nine dollars. <sighs> That's funny. This is a nice frame. I like how chippy it is. Let's see. Eleven. adorable. Cousin Farm. Cute. It's kind of neat. A little tray. What's this? Serving board. That's cool. Seems kind of small. I'm not going to serve much on there, but it's an interesting concept. This is so adorable. Oh, I like this. It's someone's DIY project. Does 
doesn't close properly. Oh, this is cool. Love that. That's really neat. It's cute. Oh, there's multiple. Oh, there's a lot of them. So it's a mass produced. How did we get so many? Oh, wow. There's all different little sets. Bathroom sets. Fun. Yeah. All right. We're over in the dishes. These are $4 a piece for a cup and saucer. They have some Corel. Those are cute. These I probably could sell, but, you know, I just... I don't feel like it. <laughs> I don't want to. They take up a lot of space on my shelves and they take a while to sell. This looks old. Let's see. That's definitely, oh yeah, mid-century for sure. 50s, 60s. It's a cute one. I've never seen one in that shape. I like it. Fun dishes. Ikea. Way to go, Ikea. These are really nice. We have the plates here. I wonder if these go with those. Oh, yeah, I gotcha. Yep. Sweet. I like those. It's a little iron stone. Not marked, but pretty sure that's what that is. What are these? Corral of some sort. look fun underneath there, but dishes are heavy. Ooh, these are pretty. It's so pretty. I think it's, I can't tell what's in the set. Gorgeous though. Green China Mikasa something blue. Hmm. Cute. Those are bread plates there. I like them. Pretty colors for spring, not for seven though. Ooh, these are pretty modern, but pretty. Beer one. Very pretty. That would make a really nice arrangement.
kind of like these. I wish they were a darker wood. Oh, interesting. It's like a very light ceramic. I feel like I would definitely chip that. for Christmas, just sitting here. Now these are not as miniature as some of the ones I have, but I don't love that one, but I do love this one and I do love this one. Correct. That's sad. Okay, it's really busy in here today, so if I haven't been doing as much talking, that's why. But now I'm in the tchotchke knickknack area which is always my favorite because <laughs> you just never know what you'll find she's sweet i thought she was a bell but she's not 2.99 on her this is cute 3.99 that's really cute i love that with the, the um butterfly on his shell <laughs> so cute. Oh, it looks like it used to be red and someone painted it to, I guess, match their kitchen. Oh, egg cup. It's chipped. Otherwise, I would probably pick that up. Little Christmas kitties. Johnson Brothers. Thank you. 
sweet little smell. A little redware teapot. Hmm. I remember these from being a kid, like it's like a perpetual motion kind of thing. This one's taped so you can't test it. Oh, this one actually has a battery, so I'm not sure how that works. Sweet. What? No. <laughs> Oh, yeah, do your thing. This is really pretty, except for that bit of tarnish. I don't really know how you get that off, or if it would come off. I do kind of think it detracts, though. That's really pretty. Some of the petals are slightly broken, unfortunately, but I do like it. I like this because it's made to look old, even though it's not. $12.99. He's big. He's cute. That for an egg. Darling, darling, darling. Oh, what is this cutie? It's cute. Tiny. Pretty. Five dollars. I really like this, and it's only $3.99, but the drawer is warped, so you can kind of see. It's not flat anymore, which is kind of strange, but totally vintage. I really like it, and I think that's a great price. So you always have to check these random aisles, because sometimes you find something that's like, maybe that you wouldn't put there, but that they put there, and it's worth it to look. 
okay, this is a fabulous deal. $6.99, but it's really strong. We use these all the time, and I think most of ours are bent. <laughs> and they're not cheap to buy. So that is definitely going to come home with me. And then I also found this for $4.99. It's just one of those um, plant dollies for out on the deck. I have some pretty large pots, and this makes it easier to move them around. Okay, I'm moving over to the furniture area. Just looking at some little side tables. Their prices are great. Rounds $14.99, $19.99, $12.99. I think that's great. And then there's some interesting things over here. Way more furniture than uh, at some of the locations I've been to. This is cool. This would be great for the shop. $45 because it angles like, you know what I mean? So the things on this shelf wouldn't be hidden as much by the things on this shelf, which is nice. Okay, this is adorable, but they're asking 120 on it. I guess that's why no one's bought it. I would like it to be taller. You know, another shelf would be more useful. So this one has a weird bulb, and it's 20. And that one I thought is darling, but it's also 20. And that's not bad for a lamp, but I just, it doesn't have a shade, and I really don't have a place to put it, so I don't want to just spend 20 on a lamp, and I don't know if I'm gonna use it. Okay, we saw these from the back side over there. I can't tell, I think someone DIY'd that paint on them. They are cute. 35, eh, terrible, could be worse. They have 250 on this one. And 150 on this one. This one needs a paint job, but it's got bones. I'm surprised no one's picked it up, especially for $6.99. I adore this. And it's like engraved. Miss Hazel I Saudi Sauders? Sauders. Sauders? Sanders. I don't know. I can't tell. <laughs> and then there's another name there. Maybe the guy. That is just adorable. Love. Old frame is really cool. But you know, I can't really hang a picture of... I mean, I do have some random old pictures in my house, but... Maybe I could. Maybe I could somehow print out a picture of me and Chris in a similar thing, make it sepia-toned and kind of put it on top of this one. That'd be kind of fun. I bet I could totally do that and keep that one in there behind it. <laughs> the frame is fabulous though. This is why I don't cross stitch four people because you always see them in the thrift stores and it takes hours of work. And then people just donate it because people don't see the value. 
pretty. I like that bird sketch. This is so adorable. It's crooked though. And they have it for 50. If they had it for like 10, I might take it and try to fix it, but not for 50. Hello, I hope you enjoyed coming with me to Minnetonka Goodwill. And yeah, I didn't find a ton, but I did find some good things. One thing I got that I don't have with me because it's downstairs in our laundry room was the laundry rack. Now, I know it's not interesting to find a laundry rack, but those racks can be really expensive. We've bought them at Target before and they don't last. This one feels much sturdier, but they're like $30 to buy them new. So I was like, this is a great deal, $6.99. So um, yeah, I was actually super pleased with that find. And then some other things um, that I found, well, actually let me take them out of the bag and then I'll come back. The other things that I found, I paid $4.99 for this, which again, I didn't think was a bad deal for what it is. So this is one of those, they call it a plant dolly. And basically um, you put it under your plant on your porch or on your deck and it enables you to move the pot, like a heavy pot around without having to lift it. So I thought that was really good. I have a few that I use out there, but I definitely have always thought like, oh, I need some more of those. But when you go to buy them in the store, they're not cheap. So I was like, this is a good deal. And um, it's not in that bad a shape. I might try sealing it up with a little like sealer um, just to try to prevent more of the, you can kind of see the water damage that happens, you know, from rain and other elements. So, but I thought that was a really good find for my porch. Actually, I'll probably use it out on my back deck. Okay, and then I also got the old frame. thought this was so cool. Um, it was $3.99, and I just love it. I don't know what I'll put in here. Maybe uh, I would love to get like a sepia-toned picture of me and Chris, like a more updated one. I have our wedding pictures, but I would love something that's like, you know, more current and put it in our bedroom. So that's where my, that's what I'm thinking. I guess I should show you the up close. You see the edge? Isn't it pretty? It was really pretty and you can tell you could just tell it's old like it has nails that hold in the thing there and it does have felt on the bottom which is really nice so it won't scratch the furniture okay then um i did get the the framed picture it was also 3.99 which i know is a lot but i think this frame is super cool and i was thinking of doing the same thing here putting a picture of me and chris or maybe us and the kids i don't know I have to think about it, but I'll probably put it back down in my bedroom. I just love it. I just think it's so, so, so cool. How does it come? Oh, it just pops. Nice. Oh, see, it just pops out. And then sometimes you find a treasure behind, but there's nothing here. And there's no glass in it. I'm sure at some point it had glass, but it does not any longer. But that's okay because it's just cool and old. I think I've told you this before I have a box in my garage and I literally just call it like old stuff that I like <laughs> like when it comes to antiques okay I don't want to break it I got to do it later when I'm able to focus more but when it, got, when it comes to antiques I don't always need a purpose sometimes I just like to have the things because they're old and they've lasted a hundred years you know so I don't know that's just me Okay, and then I did pick up two of the bells for my Christmas bell collection. So I can't show you these with the others because they're packed away for the season. And I don't know, sometimes they say something about Christmas. These don't, but um, they're perfect for my collection. I think I've shown you that collection before. This one I absolutely adore. Really, really pretty. I don't know if there's any marks on them. Let's see. Nope, doesn't look like it. 
Hmm. No marks. But I thought those would be really cool for my bell collection. So that is all. Not a lot at the Minnetonka Goodwill. That's kind of, I just won't spend Goodwill prices on things, you know? So I wind up being very particular. Um, so I probably spend less at Goodwill than, like, I'm much more likely to go to Legacy Thrift and spend $25 then go to Goodwill and spend $25 because at Legacy Thrift, I'm going to get like 20 items, but at Goodwill, I might get five, you know, it's just not worth it. So I just try to be really selective at Goodwill. I still go. Sometimes I find really good stuff, but um, like, I love the things that I found. I'm just very selective there. I'm not just going to, I'm not going to buy something unless I know I really want it. So anyway. All right, so that's all for my Minnetonka Goodwill trip. I hope you enjoyed coming with me and I will see you next Sunday. Oh, don't forget to hit subscribe if you're not already subscribed and I'll see you next time. Bye.